Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual science teacher in grade 4. Today, we're going to study force exerted by magnets. Are you ready? Let's get started! At the end of the lesson, you are able to characterize magnetic force and describe the force exerted by magnets. You have learned in your previous lesson how force affects the size, shape, and movement of objects like hammering, cutting, pounding, smashing. As you apply force, changes take place because of the energy in the exerted force. Have you seen a magnet? What can you say about it? Magnets have invisible magnetic field which attracts objects made of iron and nickel. One end or side of a magnet is the north pole and the opposite is the south pole. When the poles of two magnets are put near each other, they have the force that will either pull them together or push them apart. What do we call the push and pull of magnet? It is called magnetism. Magnetism is the push and pull of magnet. If the poles are different, then they will pull together or attract each other. If the poles are same, then they will push apart or repel each other. Magnets are attracted to the three types of metals. These metals are made of nickel, iron, and cobalt. There are several types of magnets, like ring magnet, horseshoe magnet, bar magnet, or rectangular magnet. Let's try exercise 1. Identify which materials are attracted or not attracted by the magnet. So these are the following materials. Wire, piece of cloth, rubber band, nails, plastic ruler, eraser, coins, can opener, thumb tacks, and sharp pencil. Copy this table in your science notebook for you to answer the activity in exercise 1. So you are going to identify the materials whether attracted by the magnet or not attracted by the magnet. Just write the following names of the materials inside the table. Now, let's have our exercise too. Draw bar magnet if the statement is correct and draw ring magnet if the statement is incorrect. Number 1. Silver and gold rings attract to magnets. Number 2. Iron, cobalt, and nickel are materials attracted to magnets. Number three, all objects that are made up of iron are attracted to magnets. Number four, two unlike poles of a magnet, when put near each other, pull apart. Number five, when the north pole of a magnet is placed near the north pole of another magnet, electromagnetic force tends to pull each other together. Good luck for this activity and don't forget to enjoy while learning science. Always remember, science is fun! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Again, I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual science teacher in grade 4. Keep safe and Happy learning!